Hey guys, I'm Beth, this is Read Remark, and today I'm going to talk to you about The Most Fun We Ever Had by Claire Lombardo. I'm trying to think of exactly where I've heard of this book, The Most Fun We Ever Had by Claire Lombardo. I think it may have been on a Discord group with the Poptimist David and the entire group there. I think they were talking about how good it was and I said, well, okay, if they're going to vouch for it, then of course I've got to read it. It's the kind of book that I usually don't go for, which seems to be a theme with books that I like lately. It follows a family. It's basically one of those moment in time literary fiction books that doesn't have any real plot other than look at this family. It's kind of like a big long character study. And when I say long, I do mean long. It's a longer book than I had expected. But I feel like every single page was necessary in this book. So it follows the matriarch and patriarch of the family, David and Marilyn, who are madly, deeply, passionately in love still into their golden years. They're middle-aged. They have um, adult children, four daughters, who are kind of, it's the part of life where David and Marilyn would think that they have their parenting done. They're empty nesters, their children are grown up, so you would think they were done, but really their children seem to need them more than ever. There are all sorts of different dramas going on in their lives, such as marital discord or um, an unexpected pregnancy or a partner who's just not doing very well. Just all sorts of um, things going on in these daughters' lives that really bring a lot of disharmony and trouble and dysfunction. The main one is that there is an illegitimate child who is now a teenager and has re-entered their lives. And so they have to figure out what in the world to do about this child because of course one of the daughters refuses to take responsibility for him. So he kind of bounces around to different family members' homes. It's kind of an odd situation because all of these people are in what would seem to be good familial setups, except for the youngest, Grace. Um, they have a good amount of money, they're successful with their careers, and yet somehow it's really hard to find someone who has the emotional wherewithal to take on this teenager. An interesting thing the author Claire Lombardo does in this book is how she uses nicknames. In particular, Violet has Vile as a nickname, or Liza has Lies as a nickname. I don't think that that's a coincidence at all. It's kind of interesting and funny to see how the nicknames really match up with the actions. Another interesting thing is in this book is kind of the shadow that these parents' deep and abiding love casts over the rest of the daughters. You would think that it would make like a really good impression and serve as really good role models, but instead what it does for them is set the bar just so impossibly high that they feel like there's no way that they can match that. They can't find that with their own partners. There's no way. It's almost like a fairy tale that can't exist in the real world. It's a standard that just can't be met. So usually I grab a book that's more plot driven, but this one just drew me in, drew me in to the point that um, it was a loaner from the library and it came due when I was in the middle of reading it and I was like, no! And by read, I mean audiobooking it. <laughs> so I immediately had to go back and get right back on the waiting list so I could find out what happened next with this family because I just I had to know. I had to know. <laughs> All right, so short but sweet review. Really good book. The most fun we ever had by Claire Lombardo. I highly recommend it. Let me know what you thought if you read it. I do see it landing on some best of lists, perhaps the... Um, booktube prize list next year maybe the tournament of books by the morning news we'll see all right talk to you guys later thanks bye